What's up my subscribers and unsubscribers, and welcome back to another unit review. Uh, after three special legend units I've just I've described and reviewed and all that, I decided to go back to my roots and do another Uber. So today we'll be looking at Hayabusa, an Uber under the Dark Heroes banner. And if you didn't know this already, the whole gimmick of most of the Dark Heroes is that all three forms of a Dark Heroes Uber have different abilities, and all three are theory supposed to be usable. Uh, not all created equal unfortunately, but Hayabusa has the same gimmick. Three different abilities, three different forms. Pretty cool, lots of variety here. Uh, this kind of means that this unit review is a three for one special because I kind of have to review every single form, which is radically different in terms of usage. And each form will be having different rankings. So check the time markers if you only want to look at one. Anyway, let's go over his first form first. Don't be misled that because it's only his first form that's the weakest. In fact, uh, his first form is probably the strongest in my opinion. So, here are Hayabusa's stats in his first form. Uh, throughout all forms, he retains the same stats other than damage and his ability. Uh, he also keeps slow immunity throughout all forms. So, on paper, Hayabusa looks like a piece of crap due to his terrible DPS until you realize he has a 30% chance to crit. Now, this changes everything. For reference, a level 30 Hayabusa deals the same damage as a level 47 Waitress Cat, with the added bonus of area attack and long distance. Other than his crit chance being 30%, and his long distance inner piercing range being kind of low, there are no strings attached to this ability. So if Hayabusa crits on a group of metals, they're gonna fold like paper when he hits them. The only metal enemy that can really stand up to him is Super Metal Seal. But even then, if Hayabusa is level 33, he has equal damage to a level 40 Soba Cat, meaning he can 3-shot the dreaded 300% Metal Seal, and one shot a non-boosted Metal Seal. Against metal enemies, his blind spot is kind of a problem because almost every metal enemy in the game is a melee attacker and can infiltrate Hayabusa's blind spot, but with his 7x KB count and the plethora of no gacha anti-metal crowd control, uh, he can pretty much eviscerate hordes of metal enemies with ease as long as they're kept uh, away from his blind spot. His biggest weakness as an overall unit is that he has the critical unit curse. His stats are severely nerfed, or more so his attack is severely nerfed. So he can't really do any damage to non-metal enemies, that's a significant. So for a ranking, I'm going to only give him a special score. As a critter and anti-metal, I give Hayabusa an A+. His damage and reach is just crazy, and everything except Metal Seal gets wiped off the field instantly by his attacks. Uh, the only thing holding him back from S is that blind spot, pretty big, it's about 260 range, and almost all metals uh, can get in there. With Hayabusa's normal form established as one of the best anti-metal ubers in the game, uh, let's move on to his evolved form, Oni Hayabusa. Uh, Oni has double the damage of his normal form, with 20.4k damage and 4.1k DPS, which is somewhat below average for an LD unit with his 365 standing range. I recommend boosting him to improve his lackluster damage. In exchange for being able to crit, Hayabusa now has the ability to knock back and slow aliens for up to 4 seconds with all treasures, at a 50% proc chance for each ability. His slow ability has 80% uptime, which is extremely good. However, I know a lot of you are already crowning on seeing that knockback ability. Knockback slow, you know, Bisley syndrome, especially against aliens where knockback abilities are generally bad against them. Luckily though, it's not as bad with Oni because of his long distance. Uh, along with knocking back the alien frontliners, he can also snipe and knock back the alien backliners as long as they're within his LD range. Uh, this means his ability is not harmful against, it doesn't really cause Bisley syndrome, uh, unless uh, there's super backliners that Hayabusa can't snipe with his LD. Hayabusa is best against alien midrangers and melee attackers, such as Ursa Major, Cyberhorn, and any others you can think of. The only problems I have with him are A, he's pretty gimmicky to use, and B, he gets outclassed by super rares. So, with both his abilities being a coin flip chance, at least one of them will proc, but if you want one in particular, you can't really rely on him. Also, in terms of abilities, uh, you don't really need a unit that knocks back aliens. It's really not important and unnecessary. It would honestly just be better if he only had the slow ability. In terms of slowing, I mean, we already have Psycho Cat, and he's pretty good at that. Uh, no Uber necessary, and of course Seafair freezes, which is an even better ability than Hayabusa's. So, the super rares are harsh competition with Hayabusa, so you'll usually use them together if you need that much anti-alien crowd control. Another severe flaw of Hayabusa, well this is actually a flaw in all forms, is that he has an extremely high 25 speed stat. And he tends to rush and clip into enemies if they're knocked back by other units on your team which causes melee fighters to get into his 250 range blind spot extremely easily. 
and considering he only has 365 standing range, it's it's not hard for anyone to get in that blind spot and make Hayabusa useless. When his ability is useful though, I find him pretty fun to use, but I find his impact a little lackluster more often than not, but I am in end game, so take that with a grain of salt. Now, to rank him. In early game, I gave Hayabusa a B. Pretty helpful and into the future against many stages, uh, the most notable being Moon Chapters 2 and 3. Uh, in mid game, I gave him a B minus. Not as good in Cats of the Cosmos due to all the weird restrictions, but still usable in some areas. Uh, he's pretty good in swim meet, uh, that's one stage he kind of collapsed in. And in late game, I unfortunately had to give Hayabusa a C. There really aren't as many aliens here, and most people would prefer to use Seafarer, Psycho Cat, and a bunch of other different alien, anti-alien ubers over him due to his gimmicky nature. And due to his low range and mediocre DPS for said range, using him as a sniper LD unit usually isn't very worth it. And he gets pretty outclassed by True Form Mina due to her better survivability and just overall safer to use. As for a specialist, which is his anti-alien crowd control, I gave him a C+. His abilities usually will proc, but when neither of them do it can be a problem. And more often than not, I personally would just rather use something more safe, you know. Knockback Slow is kind of a cursed combination, even if you don't have complete Misley Syndrome, but it still kind of remains a problem and is super harmful against, well, when the super backliners on the enemy team, like Cly1, Space Fist Jones, Galactic Emperor Nyandam, etc, etc. So, to summarize, a below average, somewhat gimmicky uber that's really only good in early game and becomes more and more mediocre after into the future. Hayabusa's third form, Akuma Hayabusa, retains the exact same stats and abilities as the second form, but instead targets zombies and now has Z Killer. I know I just said knockback and slow is kind of a cursed combination, but luckily it works a bit better against zombies. Uh, they don't really have any backliners in primarily zombie stages, and the closest thing they have is Cadaver Bear, and Hayabusa can easily snipe him even if he's outranged by Cadaver Bear. Although burrowing zombies is a serious issue due to his blind spot, uh, kind of bad against zombies in that way, but his seven times knockback count makes this issue a little less problematic, and Holy Blast Cat Cannon also helps a lot with this issue. Any small and weak zombies that infiltrate his blind spot are usually just killed by your other Z killers, like little flying and stuff. Well, Hayabusa's ability actually works pretty well against zombies due to the high slow uptime and knockback effect not causing any sort of Misley Syndrome, just pushing them back. Uh, unfortunately though, Pole Vaulter is also an LD unit that can slow zombies and is probably better at it than Hayabusa due to her 21 second cooldown compared to Hayabusa's 108 seconds. Luckily though, his only competition for zombie knockback is Welterweight, and Hayabusa exceeds his ability due to Welterweight being single target. But overall, Akuma Hayabusa is a heavy version of Pole Vaulter, with the added bonus of having Welterweight's ability too. In terms of tier rankings, in early game you probably won't have uh, Akuma's true form just due to the high uh, cat fruit cost, but if you do, it's pretty useful for the zombie outbreak stages. I would call his true form pretty overkill though, so it's not necessary, but it's not really bad against zombies. So yeah, B minus, not bad, but you likely won't have it. In mid game, he retains a B minus. Uh, very useful in some of the stories of legend zombie stages, and very good in the sub chapters, suburbs of the dead, and quarantine isles. Uh, he can particularly carry pretty hard in silence and meowing, the final stage in suburbs of the dead. Unfortunately, he can't break out of B tier due to his mediocre general stats, uh, relegating him only really to use in zombie stages, and he can hurt other enemy types, but it's just, you really just want to stick to zombies with this guy. In late game, same story, B-. Uh, if you want to use him up to this point, again, highly recommend boosting him to get his damage and health up, and it's the same kind of story, you know, just pretty good anti-zombie crowd control with a decent attacking force and survivability due to zombies being generally lower ranged and just high knockback count. Now for a specialist tier. In terms of anti-zombie crowd control, I'd have to give Akuma a B. Like I said, he does face stiff competition, and he generally acts more as a supporting crowd control rather than the sole crowd control, uh, often being paired with Pole Vaulter, Talented Psycho Cat, Welterweight, etc, etc. So, you know, just a decent uber. He's, he's not really that bad in this form, just, you know, zombie crowd control. He's not your main carry, but he does help. So, with all three forms summed up, I guess that wraps up Hayabusa. Uh, a very versatile, you know, with three niches. To be honest, his only his first form is really amazing, but you have to admit that it'd be pretty unfair if all three forms absolutely slapped. 
So he's kind of like a Swiss Army knife. He can do a lot of things, he just doesn't do them all super well. I'm honestly just happy with his normal form. It's super powerful and satisfying to use against metals. And I will admit, he is pretty fun to use. You know, just watching whole hordes of enemies get knocked back and slowed is actually quite satisfying for the eyes, along with getting critical hits. So if you got this Uber and you just saw me shit all over his second and sort of third form, just know that he's pretty good. And he serves many different purposes as a crowd control and critter unit. Uh, if you liked the video, please subscribe, leave a comment, really helps me and the channel out. And tell me what unit you want next, Uber or no Uber, I don't really care. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure when I'll post my next unit review because I basically had to review three units in one and it kind of took a little longer than normal, so yeah. Also, sorry, I usually include a pros and cons list for a unit in the video, but since there's three different forms, I really just didn't feel like, uh, you know, making an individual list for each one. But I kind of sprinkled the pros and cons throughout, as you, you know, observed if you watched the whole video. Uh, I think having a pros and cons list for each form would just make it kind of annoying, because some of them you'd have to repeat over and over. And this video's been long enough now, even without my ending ramble, so I'm just going to peace out. Uh, have a good day, night, whatever, everybody who's watched this far, and I'll see you next time.